Okay, so today we're going to be looking at how to create a travel map animation um, just like the one you're seeing here for your holiday videos. Shooting those videos is always a lot of fun, but sooner or later you have to sit down and edit it all together. And that's where map animations like this can become uh, such a useful tool in uh, giving your audience an, an overview of your trip. After Effects will be our tool for the job, and I'm also going to be using uh, our World Travel Maps template for animating the map itself. Yes, it's 30 bucks to buy, but if you want to save yourself a couple of hours of mucking around in After Effects and rather spend them editing your video footage, then this might just be the tutorial that you're looking for. Alright, and so let's jump into this. Once you open the World Travel Maps template, you will see that over here, we have three pre-made map animations that you can use as a starting point. Specifically, let's take a look at this comp as it's uh, using a Google map for its base. And then it has all of these routes and locations and travel icons animated on top of it. Exactly what we need for our demo. So to start with, let me duplicate this comp so we can keep this guy as a backup in case I mess something up. And I'm going to call my new comp map animation, my trip to UK 2020. And um, nope, let's make that 2019 as there's just no way I went there in 2020. And there you go. That's our new comp set up and I'm ready to start building my animation. So the first thing I need to do is, uh, is get myself an image of a map. For that, I open up Google Maps. I zoom into UK, right click on Dublin, directions from here, and I want to go to London. Then let's add another point to Edinburgh, and then I also want to go to Hollyhead. So that's my trip. And then next, I take a screen grab of this map so that I can add it to my After Effects and so that I can use it as a reference for the route as well as all of the locations. Now, I could use this Google Map here for my map animation as well, but I often find it that Google Maps look um, a bit boring and there's also too much unnecessary information on them. So personally, I prefer to use some slightly stylized maps and I uh, found this cool website called uh, unitedthemes.com where they have a whole bunch of beautifully designed maps with uh, various color schemes. So it's easy to find a style that works best for, for your video. I kind of like this one. So I already have it positioned uh, to where it needs to be. So what I do here is I press this guy for a full screen view. I wait until this message disappears. And then I go Command Shift 4 on the Mac. And I'll screen grab it while trying to avoid all of these um, UI controllers. All right, and so that's my second screenshot. Now that I have my two screenshots ready, I'll open up my After Effects. And I can drag these two guys into my assets uh, just like that. Let's rename them real quick so that I know which one is which. Okay, so next let's uh, replace this map. For that, I scroll down to my map layer, which is uh, over here. I select it, select the UK map in the assets. And while holding the Alt key, I replace the Puerto Rico map with my black and white UK map. And I might scale this down to 90%. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so next let's get rid of everything we don't need here. So I don't need this uh, date flipper guy, which is uh, this layer over here. So we get rid of it. And I also don't need any of these uh, travel layers as I'll be building them again. So let's delete them as well. And we're getting a couple of errors here. So let's see what might be causing them. Here on my camera controls layer, we have these groups of keyframes here that represent different legs of the trip and tell the camera when to move from one location to the next one. And so for now, I don't need any of these, except maybe for these two guys. And so we're still getting this error. So 
I think the last thing we're missing here is is to tell our camera what are its start and end points for each leg of the trip. And so let's set leg one to be going from location one to location two. Okay, and that fixes our errors. So this is my map then, and I think I might actually make it uh, 100%, so uh, to make it a little bigger. So my location zero is this point over here, that's um, a little bit outside of the screen. And uh, we're using it to create that airplane animation so that it looks like it's flying in from somewhere in the US over to Dublin. And so I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, so first of all, let's position each of our locations. So Dublin is going to be our first location. And I'm going to go right click, reveal layer source in project. And I will maybe make a copy of it. And I'm going to call this uh, Dublin. And then you see the way it says right over here. I'm going to rename that to left because uh, if it says left here, then it means that the position of my title will go to the left side of the pin. Press enter. Again, I hold the option or the alt key and I replace location one with this uh, Dublin pin. So now I have Dublin here. Next one I need is Hollyhead, uh, which is somewhere over here. And so now, say I don't know exactly where each of these locations are on the map. And I certainly don't know where Edinburgh is and even London. I think it's probably somewhere here. So what I can do here is I can duplicate this guy. And I can use my reference map, which is this guy over here, as a guide. So let's drop its opacity and rescale it so that the two match up. All right, and so now that I know that my holly head, mm, holy head, holly head, yeah, I think it's called holly head. Hmm, I'm gonna call it holly head. I know that it's over here. And so we can rename it. And the direction is good. I duplicate it to create location uh, number three. We place it over here. And that's going to be my Edinburgh. I think the side is good. But I don't know how to spell it. So let me quickly check this. Okay. Copy. Paste. And we drop it in here. I duplicate it once again and move my fourth pin over here. And that's going to be London, right? Duplicate once again and we'll call it London. All right, so drop it in here and that's London. That's all four locations in place and I can turn off our guide layer for now. So next I want to get my camera to move uh, from one location to the next one. And so for that, we need to set up each leg of the trip. Let's see here, uh, we're going to have one leg of the trip, two camera moves, three camera moves all together, right? So I close the fourth one. And on the first one, we set uh, to start on location one. And our endpoint is going to be location two. And if I scrub through my animation, yes, we see that we're moving from location one to Hollyhead. And you can see that the scene is centered on it. So then my second leg of the trip will be location two, which is Hollyhead to location three. You see, that's why naming is important as uh, now it's easy to select those layers. And then my third trip will be from location three to location four. Okay, so now I have the legs set up, meaning the camera knows where to move, but it's not moving. And that's because it doesn't have any animation keyframes telling it when to move. So I need to add some 
keyframes to this uh, animate the trip property. So I say, okay, take three to four seconds to get to Hollyhead. And then maybe hold for a few moments. And then as we get here, I want you to get to Edinburgh. Now I add another keyframe saying hold here for a second to, to, to allow the pin to animate in. And then once you've done that, I want you to move to location four, which is London. Okay, and so let's say that this is going to be a 20 second animation in total. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, my camera moves from Dublin to Hollyhead. And as you can see, we don't need to worry about any easing as the template automatically does all of that for us. So then wait uh, for a second. We move to Edinburgh. That's good. And then wait uh, one second and we move to London. And, and so that's all in place. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that all of my pins appear as we get to each of the locations. So this one, I want to drop in just a little bit before we get to Hollyhead. Then this one, just before we get to Edinburgh. And lastly, just before we get to London. Okay, and so now we have our map in place, we have our camera moving, and we have all of our locations set up. And so the last thing we need to do is add our animated routes between each one of the points. Uh, okay, and before we do that, I see here that the camera is going outside the bounds of my map. So let's try to fix that. On my map layer, I have a motion dial effect that can usually help with this. Uh, so let's enable mirror edge. Hmm, and I think it's still a little bit too noticeable. So here's what we're going to do. I'll go to my camera controls and I'll simply zoom in the camera. Yeah, something like that. All right, so where do we start with these routes? I think first we should add a ferry going from Dublin to Hollyhead. For that, I'm going to close all my pins. And over here, I have these two element selector comps where I can grab various elements I want to add to my map. So what I want to do is I want to get a boat and the boat is part of the vehicle layers. So in here, you can see that I have these two layers that uh, make up my vehicle animation. One is the vehicle itself, while the other one is its route. So I select them both. Make sure you select uh, the top one first and then hold the shift to select the bottom one. Control C uh, or Command C on the Mac. And over here, I go Command V to paste these two layers above my location one layer so that they're sitting uh, between locations one and two. Okay, so I see that my vehicle animation or route came in over here. So I double click it, drag its first point to Dublin, its last point to Hollyhead, and then these two guys, I don't need them. And so let's just position these a bit more accurately. And maybe I can even add a curve. And then on my vehicle layer, I can say that this is going to be, you see at the moment it's a car. So over here, I can say that I want you to be a ferry. And I think maybe that's a little too big. So let's make it say 14. Yeah, that's much better. And then I just want to make sure that it's moving with the first leg. As you can see, I can have it uh, moving independent of the camera, just purely based on the on these two keyframes over here. But in this case, I want it to move with the camera. So on the route layer, I want to say here that I want it not based on keyframes, but on camera. And I want you to be part of leg one because this is my first leg of the trip. All right, so that's all good and it's all set. 
and my camera animates as well as my boat. And my icon drops in for Hollyhead. Fantastic. That's one deck done, two more to go. So next, let's add a bus trip to Edinburgh. For that, I can just duplicate these guys, put them over here. And again, naming is important as otherwise your scenes can get that rather confusing. So I call this my leg two. I say, I want you to be part of my leg two based on camera. And my vehicle is going to be not ferry, but a bus. And so if we take a look here, we can see that the bus is already traveling as part of leg two. Uh, but the problem is that it's moving between Dublin and Hollyhead because that's where the route is positioned right now. So let's move this guy here, this guy here, and let me adjust them to be a bit more precise. Now next, to outline my route, I'm going to enable my reference layer once again. And I'll use this as my guide while editing the shape of the route. I'm going to speed this up. And now if I take a look at it, I can see that it's animating along the route. But I can also see that my bus is currently overlaying this Hollyhead title. So I think I'll have to move these guys below um, that location layer. Yeah, that's right. And so if I turn off my guide layer and scrub through the timeline, I can see that the bus is turning and it's moving to Edinburgh. Beautiful. And as we get there, the pin drops in. Okay, so finally I have a trip to London. And for that, I want to have an airplane. So in theory, I could just duplicate these layers, but I'll show you how to add one from the airplane layers comp. So I select these three guys, command C. And back here, I want to add them between locations three and four. Now this gives me a couple of errors. So let's check what seems to be the problem. Okay, yeah, and the problem is that the airplane doesn't know where it's flying. So over here uh, on its route path, I can tell it to go from location three to location four. And I want you to be part of leg three based on camera. Okay, so now if we check it, I have an airplane that's going to London. All right, so that's all in place now. So let me preview this animation and see what we have here. Our airplane comes into Dublin, holds for a few seconds, then a ferry goes to Hollyhead, then from there our bus treks up north to Edinburgh, and then we're flying down to London. All right, and I think we have it. And you could probably still tweak the timings here and there, but uh, in general, I mean, it's all there. And uh, I think you can see how quick of a job it was creating this uh, rather complex animation. So I hope you'll find this demo useful. And I'll make sure to include the links to our After Effects template, as well as a couple of websites where you can get uh, custom app designs um, down in the description. Thanks for watching.